Philip, I see you're doing your favourite job. I'm definitely through. Now the question is, through what? As an amateur, you will suck. Anna Weiss, been while doing this, I was supposed to do that. There should be a drill bit coming through the roof of this cupboard space. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville saint fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Right behind me and not far from the chateau, which is here, we have a vegetable garden. However, this is not the spot where the original Chateau Vegetable Garden was located. It was further away there and it was way bigger. We found aerial photographs from the 50s where you can still see it. And the reason for it being so big is because it wasn't only here to feed the people who lived in the chateau, but also for all the other people who worked here, the farmers and the workmen. But then for the previous owners, this vegetable garden was way too big and they decided to make a smaller one, which is this one. And because it's not a walled garden, at least we want to create a hedge around it. But for now, all we want is to get some fresh, nice, homegrown vegetables. And to get there, we asked our neighbor to come with his tractor and to get the soil ready for this year's planting. You're doing a great job. Yeah, a very hard job. Yeah. <laughs> Hildegard is going to have her potager like last year and grow lots of lovely vegetables and some fruit. And I am going to plant half of it with some cut flowers so that we can use them for our guest house. Mm -hmm. And I've got my two little helpers. Hey girls. Are you helping me? Yeah. Oh, you're doing such a good job. How's that hole looking, Lily? Good. Is it almost ready? Yeah. It's hard work, isn't it, Lils? Are you abandoning me? What does it mean? Are you leaving me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave me, I need your help. I'll do the ground just come for me. All right then, see you later. Yay! <sighs> so much for getting some help. These are the tubers that we bought from the flower fair a couple of months ago. So I'm very excited to see if they take. Last year was my first ever attempt at growing cut flowers. And I think maybe two of the six that tubers that I planted actually worked. So not too bad, but I'm hoping I'll have more luck this year. And I've gone for, this one is a Dahlia Vasio Megos. So this is apparently a really beautiful pink flower. Uh, Dahlia Florel, and it's white. Grand Prix, um, and apparently beautiful yellow flowers. And these 
two at the end. I've just got pink and purple written on them, so I have no idea what type of uh, dahlia they are. So that's perfect. So my dahlias will get a nice watering and yeah, I'm hoping that it's not too late because we're now the second week of May. I would have liked to have got these in the ground earlier, but we had so much frost. It's been so cold here. So hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll see something. Hildegard ma managed to save some of the herbs before the farmer came to roll the ground. So I think we've got some chives, some parsley, a very sad looking rosemary plant a nice big sage and this is one of your ones Philip it's like a herb that tastes like oysters yes it's an interesting one it's an oyster plant it literally tastes like an oyster and Hildegard also managed to save some of our strawberry plants from last year so that's exciting because hopefully those will produce lots of yummy strawberries so we can have those for our guest breakfast during the summer A few months ago I was commissioned to make my green lino printed wallpaper and then the client asked me if I would also make the blue wallpaper for their daughter's room. So I am now just cleaning up the stamp because it gets really clogged up with paint. So you're basically doing what you did to make it in the first place? Yeah, but it's obviously quicker because I know where I have to cut and it's already there, I just am cleaning it up. I will do another wallpaper because I'm planning to make a printed wallpaper for the hallway. So there you will see the whole process, but here you can just see a little bit the technique of the engraving. Anna did a great job removing all the wallpaper. And Nathan primed the wall, and now it's up to me to get that wall ready for painting, which means plastering. And as some of you might know, that's one of my favorite activities. It comes right after cutting skirting boards into the right size. When it comes to plaster, the problem is, as an amateur, you will suck. It doesn't matter how much experience you have in DIY plastering. Compared to a professional, you will always be 50 times slower, you will use 50 times more material, and you will be much messier. There's certainly different levels in amateur plastering, and my capacities might be quite low on the spectrum. But whatever your DIY level is, you bring in a professional, and I guarantee you, after half an hour, you ask yourself, why did I even bother to try? Philip, I see you're doing your favourite job. Oh yes. I'm sure there's a way of doing it without being messy, but I haven't found out yet how. Philip, look at me. You've got plaster on your ear. On my ear? Yeah. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Should we protect the floor maybe? I'm a little worried. No, that's not necessary. We can, we can clean it with a machine or with strong chemicals afterwards. That's my left hand, by the way, so if I would do it with my right hand, it would look much better. Uh-huh. By the way, the camera is right on me, so, you know, <laughs> just saying. As exciting as this is to watch you plastering, I have to go back. I've got to go and finish my wallpaper. All right, see you later. See you later. Philip, I heard you screaming. Yeah, it's always the same thing. Like you do something in here, like me plastering, and it was a success so far because I applied all the tape and everything. And then you reach 
the end and then something unexpected happens. This was wobbly and I moved it a little bit and then the whole thing crumbled. Actually somebody previously has tried to repair this just with plaster and that obviously didn't last and so this is the wall, this is the main wall of the chateau and you can see it's not really stable here so it has suffered, maybe there was a leak or something but instead of properly repairing it they just plastered over it so now it's up to us and look um, it's up to here, the whole thing is it's a mess. So this is a job, I, it's, it's not so complicated, but this is not what I wanted to do today. So I have to undo the bed repairs and then make a proper repair. That looks really destructive what you're doing right it now. It is. Imagine if we found some more treasure in there, that would be cool. Uh, yes, I found cow hair. This is the original plaster. All the walls are made of this material. It's a mix of lime, sand and cow hair. Originally I thought it was horse hair, but then I was told it's generally normally it's cow's hair, which is a bit less glamorous. <laughs> but yeah. And in here, the, all the bricks are loose up to here. I can feel it. This one is good. So I just have to replace this bit of uh, these bricks. That's exactly what I needed now that we have 10 days before our first guest arrived and then we have to stop working on the fourth guest room. again to pick up Benoit, our carpenter, and I am here with Nathan, his son. It's a bit of a familiar sight for you, my followers. It's the third time me filming this journey. And twice already I made a joke about the reason why I have to pick him up. Two times is enough. So I keep my mouth shut. Philippe? Oui? Tu parles de mon père parce qu'il a perdu son permis à cause des excitivités? There's an update on the house next to Benoit's atelier. It just changed. The windows are in. It looks amazing. Elles sont très belles ces menuiseries en alu. Ah ouais. C'est toujours aussi beau. Bah là j'ai posé toutes les fenêtres, les portes fenêtres. Là ouais, j'ai monté les fenêtres sur les lucarnes. Et tu vas faire la même chose chez nous dans dans ouais. les dépendances. Ouais, exactement. Très bien. Même pour faire. <rire> Yeah, comme moi je fais aussi tout le temps. Oui, oui c'est ce que je vois sur, euh, sur les films quand tu ranges tes outils. for an hour by himself. It's not that I don't trust him, but it's always good to give him some professional feedback from time to time. Benoit, je viens vérifier. Ah bah tu peux Tu peux, ça peut pas être pire que toi. Que fais-tu Je fais de façon à, tu vois, rattraper euh, la différence avec le placo et le rail que euh, certaines personnes n'ont laissé. J'avais très pas... moche. Oui, oui, oui. Et je t'ai fait une belle tablette à l'intérieur, ouais. de façon à ce que tu puisses poser ton dentifrice. Euh, bah, très bien. Je suis content que tu sois là. Voilà. Et, et moi de même. Et je pense que mes fans aussi. Enfin, j'espère. J'en suis sûr. D'ailleurs, si tu as un message à passer au monde, c'est l'occasion. Alors écoute, j'ai des messages à faire passer euh, envers certaines personnes, donc, euh, dont Stacy. Euh, au niveau du sport, il n'y a pas de problème. 
j'ai tout le souffle qu'il faut. Je me souviens de pas tous les noms. Hein. Je, euh, euh, pour les apprentissages, euh, oui, j'accepte. Pas les hommes. <rire> non, mais je remercie tout le monde pour les compliments. Ce qui fait très plaisir. C'est fou ce qu'on peut faire avec un bon montage. On peut donner l'impression d'être professionnel à tout le monde. Ouais, mais tu devrais faire des efforts pour toi alors, parce qu'il y a un problème. <rire> Yeah, because there's people walking in the house. It might seem strange to you, but... It's been a while. It's been a while, and I have a major problem here. Why? Because I have a cable, and it needs to go there. So I'm looking for the best way to hide this cable. And the good way would have been behind this wooden plank here. But unfortunately, the, there are some beams, supporting beams of the wall, so... This doesn't go here, so I need to find a way, and I think I need to ask Benoit for his help because he comes up with good ideas. Regarde, je peux t'exposer le problème. Il y a un câble qui doit aller jusqu'à là. Ici, on a la structure qui supporte la cloison. Oui, la cloison. Et donc là, c'est bloqué. Non. Tu as ta petite machine pour pouvoir faire des entailles, ta vibrante. Exactly the same idea, which was ripening inside myself. And that's to use a special tool to make a small cut here. What are you doing, Philip? I'm setting up my vibrating tool. It's a great tool, even though I find vibrating tools utterly irritating. I know there's some people who might like it, but it's a question of demographics, probably. Philip! That said, I just got a new blade. I misplaced it. How can you misplace something within 10 seconds? Because of this mess. There's no mess. It's look. It's almost perfectly clean. This is a huge improvement. I mean, you did a great job installing the shelves. You just kind of need to put stuff on them now. Well, to be totally honest, it was Nathan who did it. <laughs> But I gave the instructions. And I came up with the idea. And actually, that was you. It's funny that the only person who's not working right now wears the protective gear. Are you fully aware of what I'm doing? Yeah. This is a solution for a problem that was torturing me for weeks. Because I really didn't know how to get the cable from one side of the room to the other side of the room. And I'm almost there. So just another success. Yeah. I, you know, humble as always, but I think I'm a genius. Uh, we're just testing his uh, pain resilience. Come here. Ah! <laughs> Je vois qu'il était en train de déballer la porte. Je déshabille la porte. Je déshabille la porte, c'est très bien. C'est beau comment c'est sensuel, comment je parle de mon métier. Ouais, mais là, t'as fait un effort, là, t'as commandé la bonne. Là. Écoute, j'ai mesuré, j'ai mesuré deux fois. Donc ça veut dire qu'il faut qu'on coupe tout ce cadre-là. Ouais. On prend la circulaire. Hein. Il y a du compliqué. métal dans le coin, on ne sait pas où on va tomber. Hein. Bah on prend la tienne. <rire> Ou alors à la scie sabre, ça avec va. une lame métal. J'arrête à filmer et je t'aide peut-être. Non, 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 non. Non, que tu sois là ou pas là, ça fait en même. Je t'aime bien aussi. Hello, I'm in the attic. And the reason for me being in the attic is because I have to do a job that I postponed as long as possible. I'm sitting on the top of the fourth guest room and because we have a cast iron bath in an alcove there, I need to install some sort of ventilation. And the only way for me to install a ventilation is to go through the attic and from here through the roof outside. And if I'm gonna now drill a hole in this floor, I need to make sure that I don't drill into the beams, but somewhere in between the beams. In order to figure this out scientifically, I would probably need to run some complicated software with 3D visualizing or use a tape measure. Both options are not at my disposal because the tape measure is downstairs and I don't have such a computer. So I came up with an alternative strategy using this stick, which brought me to the conclusion that I have to drill exactly somewhere here.
No, it's definitely wood. But I don't think that's the beam. The beam should be along here. Maybe this is a good moment to explain how these shadow floors are made. On the ceiling of each room, or on the floor, depending from where you look at it, you have supporting beams, maybe every 30 centimeters. And on top of these supporting beams, there are these wooden slats. Now, on top of these wooden slats, there is a slab here made out of lime and sand, which by now had turned more or less into sand. On the other side of the supporting beams, which means at the ceiling of each room, they use the same wood and they nail it onto the supporting beams and then plastered over it. And that's how the ceiling was built. I think this is good news. I can feel an empty space underneath here. That's very good news. And what I can see is just some, looks like corn or rice. Yes, some sort of grain. I'm definitely through. Now the question is, through what? Let's go downstairs and find out. Nothing suspicious here, apart from a carpenter. And now, if my calculations were right, there should be a drill bit coming through the roof of this cupboard space. Now for you to understand, the bath will be here and in here on the ceiling is the ventilation. But nobody will ever know because whatever happens up there with pipes and holes will stay in there. Bon, c'est là qu'on va voir si on s'est trompé ou pas. La chambre ferme, on peut louer ce week-end. <rire> Très bien. Comme quoi, à deux, on arrive à faire des choses. À deux À demain, tu veux dire <rire> So I'm back here in the attic, and I'm quite happy because I managed to make the hole on the right spot. I'm not finished yet because I still need to make it bigger, big enough for a air vent pipe of 8 cm in diameter. And that's what I'm going to do now. Let me show you something. Look here. This. This is the old insulation material. That's how people insulated their roof spaces before rock wool was invented or glass fiber or wood wool. It's a natural material. It has been there for 200 years. It's not rotten. It's still in good condition. Look at it. There's barely any... I mean, there's a couple of insects. One or two. Maybe three. Oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. I'm as good as done with the ventilation pipe. But I wonder why Benoit is still here. He was supposed to be finished at lunchtime. Benoit? Oui? Tu fais quoi? Um, comment te dire? Uh, je, je fais, tu vois, les sous-bassements de tes murs du couloir. Mais c'était pas sur la liste. C'était moi qui devais faire ça. Oui, c'est vrai. Ça, de, ça aurait dû. Oui? Alors, uh, y a, y a... Anna, ouais. je suis dans l'embarras. Why is Benoit doing this? I was supposed to do that. I mean, it was almost done. Yeah, well. Comment lui dire pour pas le vexer? We've got Benoit here, so you know we might as well, you know, make the most of it. Bon, tu as comprendre que t'es un très mauvais charpentier, carpentier, menuisier, ce que tu veux. Donc on va le faire nous-mêmes, d'accord? Bah ben voilà Nathan. Regarde, c'est ça que je voulais te montrer. T'as peut-être vu ce que ton papa a fait, mais ça c'est autre chose. Ah ouais C'est quoi 
C'est la ventilation que j'ai installée. Ça vient de comble. C'était compliqué, mais j'ai réussi et je trouve que j'ai fait un très bon boulot. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses, toi Si tu dis que c'est bien, c'est que c'est bien. Oui, c'est tout à fait ce que j'ai dit. Et on en profite pour faire un, un cours de français, peut-être. Alors, Nathan, cette ventilation, elle paraît comment euh, Elle paraît parfaitement exécutée, déjà. Parfaitement exécutée. C'est lui qui l'a fait euh, C'est un vrai chauffagiste. Ça se voit. C'est un vrai chauffagiste. Et un jour, tu voudrais Avoir le même talent que lui. Avoir le même talent que lui. Et dans cette pièce-là, t'as travaillé ou pas Oui, oui, ça vient de là-haut, regarde. Là-haut, le tuyau sort là-haut et puis il va vers là. Et j'ai fait attention à les... Nathan Nathan C'est n'importe quoi Nathan Reviens C'est ridicule, reviens, c'est infantin Allô, Anna Ouais, c'est bon, c'est fait. Hein Le virement, c'est pourquoi Ok. Non, mais de toute façon, j'ai pas fait ça pour l'argent, t'inquiète. Ok. Salut. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.